Great, cool. All right, so I had started some notes for today's meeting. I think I had an open question on the, the, the project branch and then a couple of questions on a question, a bookkeeping question on an older branch and then a question on the what I think is the Milestone 2 branch. And I didn't put another question. I, I'll put it in here now, though. Let's take the easy questions first, I think, which is Milestone 5 can be merged to the master branch? Question mark. So it's, it's there. It's passing. So those are my questions. What questions do other people have that they want on the agenda before we start working through the agenda? Is that it? Yeah, like the only question that I have is how is the interactive testing and like code and, reviews going? Right, so let's put that one on the list. So interactive testing and let's put a new one on code review and feedback too harsh good all right okay so let's the the interactive testing i just attempted to download today and i apologize harsh that i'm so far behind but when i tried to download today so let's take interactive testing first i can't get a build of what i think is the correct pull request is this the correct pull request am i looking at the wrong one no it's, it's the right one Okay, so when I look at this one on ci.jenkins.io, it's failing to build. And then when I tried to build it locally, it's also failing to build. Like, can you show me the error? I don't think sure. so. it was failing when I tested it. Yeah, so here's the, here's the message that it reports on CI Jenkins IO. It says, where is it? Compilation failures bunch of complaints about static imports and uh the same thing happens on both here let's let's present it in easier to read format this one so this one will show us now here and what we see is it saying hey there's a package reference a reference to a package that has <clears throat> dot generated in its path okay, and okay okay so I understand what's happening. Like oh, you do. I deleted, yeah, like I, I deleted some like hook models which were there uh, originally and it was involved actually in the test. So the tests are not compiling. That's the issue that you are facing right now. So like you can directly create the HPI file and start testing. The tests are not the problem. It's the production code, right? Ah, okay. So what you're saying is, is if I do a build that skips tests entirely. Yeah. Like Maven HPI HPI, like colon in between. You say, oh, so you're saying if I do HPI colon run? No, Maven HPI colon HPI. That should uh, like create a HPI file for you for testing the GitLab plugin. Ah, okay. All right. Let's see. Great. Okay. Okay. This is new. No, that's just me making mistakes, I would suspect. All right, so let's try it. Like simply Maven HPI colon HPI. That's what I did and it was working for me fine. If it's yeah, not done, I think I'll have to reverse it. Okay, me. so. Okay, so you were getting some error about index.jelly. Okay, I didn't uh, mess up with any jelly file. Well, maybe today. maybe I'm in the wrong branch. Just a minute, Let's let's do this all the way. Are you okay with me doing this while we're here together? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay, it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to delete that branch, delete, get branch of minus d milestone two. List the pull requests. So I think the one I want to build is one five five three, correct? Yeah. Okay, so let's check out that pull request. And I'm not going to merge the master branch to it. Just take it exactly as it is. I could also just do minus D skip tests install. I think that will do the same kind of thing, won't it? Where it attempts to compile and create. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Okay, so HPI colon HPI. 
Oh, good. Okay, there we go. All right. So that gives me, I have no idea why, why I was, okay. So now I've got that able to be used. So I can install that onto my test system and get working. Good. All right. So errors so that you were seeing, like they're all about tests. It's not the production code actually. Okay. So so the the fact that CI is failing, I should I can ignore that for now because the production code can be tested even without having tests or, that are able to compile. Like the think I messed up one thing. Like when, when when I deleted the model from the hooks, I think I missed checking the jelly files or those other UI files. Maybe I I don't think UI files had any correspondence to the like models, but I'll still check. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. I never got this error. Interesting. Well, so so the the dot generated thing that I saw yeah, that's was a, that's commonly a from that... uh from from what is it from IntelliJ or other places that I've seen those kind of things arrive. Yeah. But but it no need. Like yeah, I think it's if 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 you try to build the commit before I deleted the uh, like useless imports and the hook models, I uh -huh. think that would be perfectly working because th those were corresponding to the tests. Like I I didn't really test uh, after deleting the models because I was pretty sure that nothing should be breaking, and okay. I just simply did Maven uh, like Maven build and it it was working the way I wanted to. So I didn't have any problems. Actually. Okay, so if I if I check out. You, think you're thinking two even before. two commits before okay so yeah i think that's what i like think like this and that will show patching get so it says patching tests and now if i do the maven hpn yeah that i think it should be working now okay let's see Okay, so still still complaining. Is it okay if I just leave that to you? Because you've given yeah, me an still HPI. still complaining on the test. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, it's, 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 it's actually different. This time okay. it's complaining only about the action resolver test. Previously, it was complaining about other tests also. Ah, and it was, okay. It was complaining about the other tests because of the models that I changed. Now I get what, what, what's getting wrong. And it's it's not that big of a problem. Like you'll have, oh. I'll have to pass the test with the correct models that uh, that I should be using, not the builder generated models that are generated using the like the Pojo builder. That's that's what's happening. So it's part of milestone three. Okay, all right. So this is this is handling. This is already on your list. You're comfortable with it. Yep. Okay. Just uh, check the production code. Like just create the HPI file and deploy it and deploy it in your Jenkins instance and. If it's working, then it's great. Perfect, right? And that's that I've already got, so I can just I can just do that right now. I think I can even do the. Let's see, how would I do? It? Let's mm -hmm. let's do it live. Are you okay if I just deploy it live? It will take time. Uh, well, uh, let me start the deploy, and off we go. So home, Mark, wait. I just want to be sure that no surprises while I've got you here. Okay, so currently, yeah, I, it, if it doesn't work, then like we can go to commits or three commits before, and the those commits are only about tests; they are not about the production code. So perfect. Yeah, if something like crazy goes, then so it was GitLab dash plugin dot. HPI. See if it'll take that. Oh no, it won't. Okay, sorry. I'll I'll do that later. We can. We. I don't need to slow us down with that. All right. Good. All right. So I think you've answered my questions on interactive testing. It is what I need to do is build the plugin with. Maven HPI with MVN HPI colon HPI, ignore 
any other any uh, failure to compile uh, tests, right? Did I get yeah, that the, correct? Yeah, the test compilation, like if it gives you failure, it's not a problem. If the build gives you a, fa a failure, like the normal production code build gives you failure, that's a problem and it, it will not give you a failure. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so I think I've got the answer on interactive testing two of milestone two then. And we've got the list here of suggestions from last week's meeting. Are there any of these that you want to revise or change saying, oh, no, don't worry about that one. Worry about this one instead. Um, I tested the secret token myself. I did some like record based things also, but I still okay. think you should be testing all of them. Like even Good. if I tested some of the part of it, but still, I think you should be testing all of them. It is not that, uh, that big of a deal. And mostly you should be testing the intersection of these tools. Like pick any two or three of them and try to implement them at the same time and, and see if the plugin is working the way it should be. Good. All right. Very good. Okay. Now this one, we had a link to, oh, parameter configuration. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I've attached links for all those things in the documentation that's there. Good. Okay. All right. So Another question. Interactive tests. I think we're we're set then. I understand the the goal, the objective, the ideas. I will start on it today. Okay, if we go on to some other questions that I've got. So on the GSOC 2023 project branch, it's got the milestone one work. Yes, victory. It's behind the master branch. Is there? Is it okay if I merge the master branch into it? Um, not yet, I would say. Like, because it's, it's just partial changes, right? If I would say, like, you can merge it after the milestone four, like, is perfected enough. Like, if, 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 not they like skipping the milestone three, even if the milestone not even skipping, like Basil will be angry why it's not tested. So yeah, like till the milestone four is complete, I think you should not merge it with master branch. Okay, so no, no, I'm not saying merge to the master branch. I'm talking about merging the master branch into GSOC 2023. Oh, oh yeah, the yeah, other you direction. Can do that, yeah. You can do that, but like I'll have to again sure? like um, I think I think there's there might be some breaking changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I was thinking. Like, I think some pull requests got merged into the master branch, which I'll have to see and try to like fix my pull requests that I make. So maybe you should wait a bit until all okay, those like, so do not major merge changes are yet merged. because uh, other changes arrived on the master branch. Okay, great. Yeah. All right, thanks. So risk. So there are conflicting, or it's not the word is probably not conflicting, but there are master branch changes need review by harsh so you'll take yeah, care think, of it. actually yeah, let's put it this way changes can be there like that's why i'm thinking about it so how about if we just said harsh review the the changes on the master branch when it's convenient yeah and merge the master branch because you know yeah. you know which things are safe and which aren't like i'll have to like retest things a bit to see if they are working perfectly or not i'll most i'll most probably do it after the milestone 4 gets merged but that that's a long way like first get some get the milestone 2 then get the milestone 4 while parallelly working on the milestone 3 that's a long way okay so we're going to say we don't merge into the project branch so there's currently some automation running and the automation will fail the merge right now with a uh, fail merge with a conflict. And that's okay. We accept that. And then Harsh, you'll, you'll resolve that conflict when it's convenient for you. There's no rush on that. Is that okay as uh, the way I've described it? Yeah, because like when we'll merge it into the master into the master branch, then it will go to the production, right? People, uh, people can again, this them. this is not me talking about merge to the master branch. This is merging from okay, master yeah. to our project yeah. branch. So yeah, yeah, definitely, we we are Sorry. we aren't merging anything to the master branch. Absolutely not. Right. That's 
that's yeah. still that's still we've got an awful lot to do right interactive testing all milestone two three etc but but getting behind the master branch is dangerous that, that was my worry yeah. is is when you've got yeah. one of these long long running branches like gsoc 2023 project the master branch is our destination and if we don't keep up with it we 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 yeah. can get lost in conflict yeah, it's gonna get it's gonna get very messy after some time so chris i assume you're okay with that approach then that we will we will wait i'll wait for harsh to do the the merge from the master branch into gsoc 2023 project branch rather okay. than trying to do it myself yeah i think so yeah okay good all right so harsh that one's yours great all right then i had a question on milestone five milestone five looks to me like it could be applied directly to the master branch yeah but like i think not reviewed yet and chris also wanted to add it, add some documentation changes to it so yeah. ah, okay all right so needs further review and so yeah so still the preference, Chris, from you, the preference is to merge this to the project branch rather than going all the way to the master branch? Yep. Yeah, project should be fine. Okay. All right, so. Preference is to merge to the, to the project branch after detailed review good okay maybe you good. can recommend some things to add in the documentation because like i don't know like i added very basic stuff uh, regarding traversing the plugin i added stuff mostly which i felt i i felt it was difficult when i was starting to contribute to the plugin mostly about the jenkins code understanding and mm -hmm. i hope that if any contributor is trying to contribute then he will be able to like understand the code base i am hoping if if you guys want, then I can even explain the code base, but I think it will make it a lot longer. It's already, I think, 150, 200 lines. So I don't know. Yeah, my sense was it's a good description. It's I, I like the depth that you did. I'm very impressed with the depth that you did. Thanks very much for spending the effort to do it. So, yeah. so but I didn't feel like when in my initial review, I didn't feel like, oh, we need to ask for even more. I think you've given a good description. I think I've given a, a great starting point, like a head start to anyone who's trying to contribute. Great. So I think we've addressed my question on milestone five. There's this milestone two pull request um, that's a draft that has conflicting yeah. files. Is there a reason yeah. to leave this open? Could I just close it? No. Yeah. Okay, so okay, if we close it, it's been replaced by number 1553. So you're okay if I just go ahead and close it, Harsh? Yep. Great. All right. Okay. Great. All right, and we talked through this one for me, which was, um, okay, failures are tests, are only tests. Build with Maven HPI colon HPI. Um, to... I wanted to add something, because like, if you want to build from M, um, MVN HPI HPI, before you do so, you have to, um, I think it would be a bad, bad good idea to uh, delete the target um, directory first and then run uh, MVN and then uh, skip tasks. And so, then, so Chris, oh. you're saying do a, a git clean, then a maven? Install skip tasks. So it's like uh, the MVN in install and then dash D skip tasks first. Otherwise, otherwise it would complain. Okay, like that. Like I yeah, can okay. explain Sorry. why he's saying this if you want. Please go ahead. 
so like uh, what's happening is uh, when 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 you actually try to maven verify or maven install it tries to get the target files and the target files that it's trying to get can can create a conflict when it's trying to create another build using maven hpi hpi so they can be kind of conflicting if the commits are changed or if you are trying to uh, like do things again and again and if, if files retain themselves then they create conflict that's why you don't want the target files because when you run the build it the target files get created again so yeah that's what you want okay and this is due to the use of generated objects by that maven's doing object generation maybe maven's doing source basically no, maybe, java uh, code like, generation no no uh, like it's, it's the pojo builders like that uh -huh. The builders that are created for that, the problem is like the older plugin used that, and the newer plugin is completely off of that. But I, uh, I have to patch up. I think I have to see a bit on that. Why, why that could be a potential problem? But yeah, Chris pointed out things right actually. I yeah. see. Okay, so so the the odd the surprising build pattern or build command is likely due to the transition from old let's see rest easy to new gitlab for j is that correct because due to pojo builder did i say that correctly yeah, like if, if, if you are directly if you are completely removing your gitlab uh, plugin from your system completely and then like using the the build that uh, of the milestone two, then it should be fine. But if you have some artifacts of the previous plugin, and then you are trying to use the newer plugin, then it will create conflict. Ah, okay, all right. So, so this git clean is is a very good thing, as Chris said. Delete the target directory. Got it. Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we've discussed milestone two and the testing i've got upcoming anything else on that one before we talk proxy settings code or is there anything we need to discuss on proxy settings code like uh for the milestone four like i created the draft pr and i did some docker based testing for that like for the testing i use the nginx but like I faced some problems, I tested a lot of it and I skipped some things. Like I slowed okay. my testing just to see that if milestone two is having some problems, if the milestone two has some problems, then I'll have to change milestone four also, right? So I was just slowed down. But uh, regarding the milestone four proxy setting uh, draft PR that I've made, um, I added the instruction for you to test also in the like contribution contributors.md file that like the documentation, like milestone five pull request that has all the instructions you need to have. You can use Nginx, but there is a problem with Nginx, uh, Nginx all actually. So I'll have to explain like that. So, and you say that's in the contributing.md file. Yeah. Great. That I, the, the milestone five pull request that I created, that's where it is. Excellent. Okay. So I can refer to that for suggestions and exploring. Now, my intent is to focus on milestone two first and not worry about milestone four in the in the short term because there are so many things to test on milestone two. Is that okay? Or do you want me to to look at somehow look at them in in parallel with each other? Like um actually if uh if the milestone two code looks good, like if if it's mergeable, like there is no major problem in the design of the milestone two code that I did, then you can actually test all those things that I mentioned in the milestone. Uh, two and also the milestone four simultaneously by just testing the milestone four because of course the milestone two has sorry the milestone four has all the changes that are in the milestone two as well as the milestone four proxy settings so that would be a more complete test of the plugin like if you are testing the milestone four plugin with everything that i just said then you are actually testing the complete migrated plugin yes yeah, so but given my inexperience with proxy configuration i'm hesitant to add to attempt to do milestone four without doing milestone two first. So, yeah. okay. So, that so what I'm going to say is milestone two tests, two tests completed and confirmed working. Good. Okay. So, interactive tests, let's say. Yeah. The, 
the problem that I faced with Nginx was I, I, I was using Nginx proxy server and Nginx proxy manager for managing them. Like I was, uh, so the issue that, uh, that was happening was when I was creating the proxy host and I was creating the access list for adding the author, authorization credentials, I was not able, like my browser was not showing me the like authorization thing, which I think is happening for some people and it's not happening for some people. I thought there was misconfiguration on my side, but when I searched through the Nginx like uh, GitHub repositories, I found out an issue that states this problem. So I think um, there is something like wrong with Nginx proxy manager, it seems like. So maybe if you want to test, you can use also use Apache web servers or, or any other thing like uh, you want for testing the proxy servers, it should be fine. Like I tested uh, the un on the unauthenticated proxy uh, servers completely. It, it's working the way I, it should be. I tested with wrong password and wrong username and all, and it was giving me a 403 forbidden. So I think that was also like working fine. I was not able to test the working like a uh, password and authentication, like the username and password. So yeah, that is the problem. Maybe okay, let me capture that. Password. So in, incorrect username and password and saw expected results. Yeah. But the working username and password is not giving, like it's not granting me access inside the like, and that's the problem. It's not giving me 403. It's just not granting me the access to like get to enter the username and password, the correct username and password. So yeah, it's a problem. I just, it what, what happens is my Docker container just crashes for some reason and it, it its database is lost. And then I'll have to restart my Docker container. And then once I restart my Docker container, all my credentials, which I made in the Nginx proxy manager goes away. So like, I don't know what's happening. Okay, so container crashes. With, with and this is the nginx container yeah with uh correct username and password okay good so there's there there may be some your 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 guess seems sensible to me that there's probably some issue in that container but the nginx is certainly not the only proxy so as you said i could test with when I get to that point, I could test with the Apache, Apache as a proxy. I could go looking for other proxies. Uh, I assume HA proxy is a usable usable case. So good, all right. Likely a bug, an Nginx bug, or a config error, not a problem in the Git plug, GitLab plugin. Good. Okay. Anything else we need to discuss on that code? No, I think that's this is this is the thing which happened this week. Okay. All right. So last item on my agenda was mentor checklist review, and we've got two things there. One, I'm out of office two weeks from today. Chris said he was willing to host the meeting. Chris, is that still okay for you? Okay, and then August 28 begins the, let's look at the checklist just to be sure we've got everything on it. Okay, August 21 through 28 is the final week of coding phase. So final submission, everything done should be done by August 28. So we're at 20, a little over 21, uh, 21 days. So we've got three weeks remaining, right? August 21 begins final week of coding. And then August 28 begins the evaluation week. Evals are due by September 4. Chris, does that, that work okay for you in terms of I'm available during that week and we'll get the review done on time. I assume that you're okay with that as well. Yep. I'm, but, um, I'm, I'm not sure like, cause I think the product, the code product should be due like around that time too. Right. Right. I think I assume it's, I assume the final, final submission from harsh, which is probably then a, is that likely a blog post? or a uh, some other summary the blog post is, has been the easiest in the past yeah 
so august let's show we put it this way august 28 blog post due from harsh summarizing results and then we use that harsh as your as the final submission pack is final submission to final submission to Google. Okay. Like for the interim presentation, I also created the slides to see. Oh, right, right, exactly. And we don't have a final presentation, or do we have a final presentation date? I assume it's sometime in September. It's never, yeah, but no date yet. Like John Mark said, it's in mid of September or something. Yeah, so. Good. I'll have to check my academic calendar to see like there is no exams and stuff in between. So, yeah. yeah. Well, and do any of these collide with your academic calendar is worth checking. Yeah. I don't know why always my academic calendar collides with everything that I do. Mm. Because because you're doing the first and most important thing, getting an education. No no shame there. That's that's good. Doctor Stern, the PhD, can tell you all about what it means to spend <laughs> eight years in getting an education. That's eight years. I, well, isn't that how many years you spent, Chris, getting your PhD, or was it only six or seven? Uh, I was like four to five to get my PhD, but um, I did and. A master's so like before then and that took like about two years and my undergrad was four years so it's like it's more like uh, 10 years yeah so okay so harsh 10 years of education me i've only got a i've only got a, a a bachelor's so i spent four years and it was already four years that i was was really hard for me and and chris has done 10 so chris is you know a, a doctor a doctorate is an amazing thing it's very very impressive like he, he took a degree in like physics as well as computer science and it took him 10 years i i don't remember chris your your phd is in physics isn't it yep astrophysics yeah so yes my god it's it's fun working with smart people it really is it's a little intimidating sometimes but it's really fun okay yeah like uh, we have physics department in my institute and I'm pretty scared with those guys who study physics, like dangerous people. <laughs> Astrophysics is, yes. All right. Anything else we need to review today? No, I think this, this happened in the week, in this week. All right. We'll meet again next Friday. Talk to you then. Uh, recording will be available probably within the next eight or 10 hours. Okay. Okay. Thanks, everyone.